Hello friends, Iceberg out of Dylan Brothers, Harley Davidson. And today I'm going to take you through a walkthrough of this 2005 Fat Boy Screaming Eagle Edition. All right, friends, we've got a few things to talk about on this Fat Boy Screaming Eagle. Let's move down and talk about that engine where you have the 103 Screaming Eagle engine in here. This is going to be a five speed transmission, and the final drive on this motorcycle is going to be belt. As you can see on this Screaming Eagle 103, you have the Pro Charger B1 model supercharger on this motorcycle. You can go ahead and Google the B1 model, bring up all the specs, and I went down and I talked to our master technician who did all the work on this and ran it on the dyno. You are looking at a 156 horsepower on this motorcycle with over 140 foot-pounds of torque. <laughs> so adding that Pro Charger B1 model supercharger on here really gave this motorcycle some extreme power. This is a motorcycle that if you want to go very fast, you can do so. Uh, Jess, it is pretty amazing. I was able to take it for a very quick ride and I can assure you when I tell you, it puts a large smile on your face. Let's continue and move down, uh, sticking with the engine and everything. We're gonna move down and talk about that all chromed out Vance and Heinz exhaust on here. So now you have that supercharger pushing all that air in through that engine, really upping it, and then blasting it out is that Vance and Heinz exhaust on here. It sounds incredible. They are perfectly matched up together. This bike runs like an animal and sounds amazing. I am gonna take the opportunity right now to fire the bike up so you can hear that Vance and Hines. I love the sound of that turbo winding down. <laughs> anyway, speaking of sound, as you can hear, that Vance and Hines sounds incredible. And as I said, really ties everything together performance wise. This bike truly gets up in boogies. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the other amazing things on this fat boy here, starting with that paint job. Uh, this is the 2005 Screaming Eagle. This is going to be the platinum silver paint job on here. I really dig this paint job. Love how you go through it and you can see all that detail in there. You have the very nice accent of the pinstripe kind of separating that deep uh, silver, almost gray if you will, with the lighter silver running around the gas tank. And then of course that Harley Davidson logo with the orange and black. And then almost that old school style of large brush push in and swirl with that platinum mist going through there. And I do apologize, it is platinum mist is the paint job on here. Um, not just platinum silver, platinum mist. Uh, only in human people, I'm allowed to make a mistake or two. Anyways, uh, love this paint job on this motorcycle. Really plays off all the chrome accents that are on this bike, which is what we are going to speak about now. Let's go ahead. First of all, as I, we've already touched on, that chrome Vance and Hines. Let's move down to your large floorboards there where you have the all chrome inlay on the floorboards with the Harley Davidson badge sitting right in there. Moving up through that, of course, you have the all chromed out front end. Moving back to the full chrome pulled back bars. I like the pull back bars to the rider. Very comfortable. And then another addition on this motorcycle, as you can see, is the quick detach windshield on here as well. Uh, if you want to keep the windshield on, no worries for those longer touring rides, keeping the wind off you on the highway. If you want to strip it down, windshield comes off in seconds. All right, let's continue on with that chrome theme and let's move to the center and the back of the motorcycle. As you can see, that whole chrome housing that your uh, solo seat sits in, love that look on here. Just really ties everything together, pulling all the way back to this chrome cover that goes over your passenger pad. So yes, under this chrome cover, remove this bolt. You do have a two up riding passenger pad on here. Obviously it also has the passenger peg, so this bike needs nothing 
nothing for two up riding. You can get some hardware to go in to fit back in all this chrome back on the rear end here as well. You can put a nice uh, quick to attach sissy bar on here with passenger pad for your passenger if you so choose to. Uh, that's something you can talk to our parts guys about. As this motorcycle sits on our floor, survey says, it has 6,950 miles. So this is a 2005 Screaming Eagle Fat Boy with less than 10,000 miles. It has gone fully through our service shop, needs absolutely nothing except a motorcycle enthusiast to take it down the road. And if you are local in Omaha, Nebraska and are interested in this Screaming Eagle Fat Boy, Please stop out at Dylan Brothers Harley Davidson today. Come talk to any of our sales staff. They are all happy to help you out. And as always, from the entire Dylan Brothers Harley Davidson family, thank you so much for checking out our videos. And always remember, gear up, ride safe. Thanks a lot. Oh,